Hi there. So far, each row in our list view has had only a single item, whether it be a text view or a button or an image or so on. But what we want to do is, is kind of shift gears here and, and actually let each row consist of multiple things, right? So we'd call it like a compound layout. So maybe you know we have a text view here, and then maybe some kind of little view for, for this divider, and then another text view over here. Uh, and to do that, we're actually going to use a linear layout. Uh, we'll kind of build it up starting where we are at and uh, kind of going one step at a time. All right, so the first thing we're going to need to do is to create a new class. Um, so I'm going to go in here and make a new uh, class, Java class, that I'm going to call row view. And this is going to be one that extends linear layout, right? And we'll, we can extend that right in, in, in code here. So uh, android.widget linear layout. We'll click finish. And we're just going to get a, a, a very simple one right here. We're going to need a constructor. It's complaining about this. So let's go ahead and, and override the, uh, or add the, the simplest constructor. Uh, and what we're going to do in here is, is really a few things, right? So we're going to want to uh, create the different views, right? So, so for, the, for the text and so on. Uh, we may want to modify some properties, all right, of, the, of those things. And then when we're going to want to add the views uh, to the layout, right? So that's our that's our main idea. Okay. Uh, so let, let's let's get to work, right? So creating views, right? So so not not too bad here. Uh, what we'd probably have is like a, a left and a right text view, right? Might make sense for us to call them that. Uh, so let's have a couple of fields for those. So uh, these guys are going to be text views. So my left text view, and import that guy. And then I also want one for the right text view. Uh, so creating the views is, is pretty straightforward, right? We'll just, just call the constructor for each one. So a new text view. Uh, as you know, any view requires a context, uh, and one was passed in here. So let's let's go ahead and and just use that context as, as it is right there. And same thing for the for the right. Okay. So we'll create those guys. Um, not going to worry about properties for now, but let's not forget to add them uh, to our layout. So you know our our class right here, our row view class, is a linear layout. So it'd be like saying, "Hey, linear layout, adds add a view here." So this dot add view, and then I can pass in any view I want. So let's pass in the left text view. All right, and I really I don't need the this. That's that's implicit, right? So uh, add view for the right text view as well. Okay. Um, so it looks, looks good to start. So how would we uh, display stuff on here? Let's go back to our adapter. And right now, I guess we were still set up for, for image views from last time. Um, so I'm going to change this. So each image view, I'm going to change and, and have it refer to my, to my row view, right? So this guy right here, the row view, and pass in the context, uh, row view right here. And let's see, set the image resource. Nope, don't need that guy. Uh, not going to worry about background colors here. Um, but I am going to want to set their, their text, right? So I want to be able to say something like, hey, view, uh, your left text, I want you to be just, just the, the, the numbers. Uh, and the right text, I want it to be, um, I don't know, we'll, we'll hard code some string here. So what I really want are, are methods here, like something you know, like, like set left text, right? Don't use the autocomplete there. That, that was something totally different. Uh, I want a method so, so that I can essentially say, hey, take my position and then add on you know, maybe a period and a space after it or something like that. Okay? And I'm going to want a, a method that, that I could you know, set the right text as well. And maybe that's just a hard-coded string. And you know, we say something like, you know, go Android or whatever. All right, of course, these methods don't exist, so let's go ahead and, and write them. Uh, so we'll go back to our other method, and it's asking, do you want to create a method called left text? Um, sure, absolutely. Let's let's go ahead and do that, and that's going to pass us in 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 some sort of text here. And let's go ahead and take my uh, my left text view, and we'll just simply call uh, set text on it, and pass in that text. All right. Uh, Right text is going to be very similar, All right? So that's just a quick. Uh, if they pass in some text uh, to this guy, then it's going to set the text on the the right one. Okay. Let's fire that up and see what we get. 
Okay, so it came came up here, and it's it's you know zero go Android, one go Android, two, three, four, and so on. Uh, you know, I can even add views like we did before. Uh, looks pretty good. Um, now that we're we're getting ready to send this thing to uh, kind of go live here, let's start numbering it one, right? We're going to eventually be putting months in here, and and you know, uh, January is the first month, uh, not the zeroth month to to most people. Uh, so that's an easy thing to do. So let's go ahead and do position plus one here, but let's not forget to parenthesize that. Uh, so it's going to do our order of operations correctly. Right. Um, so that that should be fine. All right, getting our slides caught up here. Uh, what did we do? Um, we've we've essentially gone through and we've we've made our, our a custom linear layout, right? Um, and within that, uh, haven't done too too much here. Um, we've we've added a couple of text views uh, to this layout, right? As we can see, and you know we we went ahead and and created the views and then added them. I guess one thing that that we probably should have done if we wanted to be very explicit was was set the orientation although everything seems to be working out uh, fine so far. So, so we're good. Uh, and we created our methods to set them. That was great. And then we updated our adapter. So then instead of giving us a text view or an image view or whatever, um, it gave us the whole row view. And all we needed to do is for each one, we needed to, to, to set the left and, and the right text, right? Uh, so it looks great so far. Uh, so what's next? Uh, the next thing that we want to do is actually replace this, replace this with real data, right? So these actual months here, uh, you probably know how this is going to go, right? So where do we store a whole bunch of strings? Strings.xml? No, oh, no. Better yet, right? We're going to go to to arrays.xml. Uh, so what I'd like you to do is is go ahead and and create a, a new arrays.xml, and we'll have a new string array of of month names here, right? Uh, so let's let's go do that. So back in resources values new XML file. Uh, this guy is going to be arrays.xml. And we'll finish it. And then within here, let's go ahead and have it stub in the first one. So add a string array. And our name is just going to be month names. And then I go in here and within this guy, all right, uh, you know, even control space is smart enough to know that, that what goes in here have to be items. Uh, so January, February, and so on, right? If you want to copy them right off the slides, uh, that's also fine with me. Uh, so it's up, up through March. I'm going to go ahead and, and copy a bunch of these. Probably too many. April. May, June, July, August, September, October, November, and last but not least, December. Format that guy. Uh, looks looks good to go. All right, so now we need to use this, uh, refer to it in our code. So let's go back to uh, our our row view itself, and probably right in the constructor here would be a good time for us to um, to load this up. Um, let's see. No, you know what? I don't. I don't think the row view is the right play style. Let's let's go to the adapter here. The adapter is is serving things up, and we actually are going to need the the month names right here. So let's go inside this guy's constructor, uh, and let's store uh, these guys here. So maybe my number of months, um, and where am I going to get this from? So let's see, let's see if we can get the resources. Uh, nope. How about our context? So, hey, context, give me my resources, and from this, uh, get the uh, get a string array. All right, and we'll pass it in our our guy here. So r dot um, let's see array dot month names. All right, so that was our identifier. Uh, so this guy's going to have to be stored. So let's create a field for that. And it's smart enough to know when we ask for a, a string array that it should return an array of strings. Right. So surprise, surprise. Uh, so now we have some months. Uh, so let's see. So what else do we need here? So if they ask for an item, what would we return? Well, we should we should just ask for the months at that place, right? So at position, 
Uh, we probably want to safeguard this guy a little bit. Um, so we probably want to take it mod 12 so that they can't give us anything out of out of index. And this is my month. So let me let me spell that guy okay. Uh, so that looks great. ID I'm not going to worry about. Uh, all right, how about the view here? So I already have my left text, the right text. Let's go ahead and uh, and print out the, the array at that position, right? So my months, uh, again, at the position. Again, we're being passed in the position here. So let's take this at position mod 12. And then return the view. OK, emulator's up and running. And we see that we actually have month names here. Let's check to see if they wrap around. So up through the eighth month, 9, 10, 11, 12. And back to January, right? So our wraparound is is working fine. Uh, if I click on these guys, they still say something about about which row we're on. Uh, so let's let's do something a little bit different. So you remember we we had our our get item here. So get item is just returning the number of months. So let's refer to that here. So that was in my on item click listener. Uh, and before it said you clicked row position. So let's instead say you clicked. And what we'll do is we'll ask our adapter to get uh, the item. Um, let's see. There it is. Get item in that position. OK, emulator's back here. Uh, and we click on it, and it says you clicked April. So let's click January. You clicked January, and so on, right? So I guess for testing, we should just double check to make sure that the wraparound works there as well. So if we go to 13, uh, it also comes back with, with January. All right, uh, looks great. Getting our slides caught up. Uh, so we already made our, our string array. Uh, we created a variable for it. Um, so our, our, our number of months here. Uh, we got the whole string array from, uh, you know, from, from our resource. So it looks fine there. And then uh, we're displaying the, the elements here. So, so the right uh, text is going to refer to that number of months right now. Uh, where we mod 12, I guess, you know, we, we could have done it on, on either side. Uh, looks good. And then we, we updated our toast, right? So that referring to this nice get item method that, that we wrote here, um, we can just ask the adapter, hey, go ahead and give me the item at that position. All right. So it's working with real data. Uh, life is good. So one more thing to do here, and that's essentially to, to customize it so it's going to look nice, right? So kind of getting from, from what we have here um, up to sort of the real thing. Uh, so how would we go about this, right? I mean, this is really just in some sense, it's, it's a bunch of properties, right? Um, so you know, you might think, well, we've been doing everything in code. Why not continue going in code? Uh, I mean, it, it, we certainly could do that, right? I mean, we could, we could you know, set the background color. Um, you know of, of the whole thing or of the text to use. Uh, we can set text color and size and padding and all this crazy stuff. We could put background images. We could do everything here. Um, but once it's getting you know this complex, uh, we know how to set the layout uh, of, of different items. Uh, and we do that using using XML, right? We do it uh, declaratively. So what I'd like us to do is go ahead and create a new row view um, XML. Uh, so we'll have this be just simply a horizontal linear layout kind of like we were using. Uh, we have a, a background paper image for you to download. It's this guy right here. Uh, that's just the right size. If you stick it in the medium uh, DPI folder, uh, it'll work out just fine. Uh, so what's going to be in here, right? So our left text view is this part right here. And it is simply just, just 44 pixels square. Okay, um, We'll just use the default uh, text size there. Uh, it's going to be black. It's going to be centered within that. right? So, so it looks great. Uh, next is going to be just simply a view where the background is set to what color is that? So D00. So remember red, green, blue. Uh, so this right here is uh, is red, and in fact that is this line right here. So we're faking it out. We're just using a um, just setting the background color um, of this little guy only three pixels wide, right? So that's why we get the nice line there. And then our right text view. Um, uh, is going to be black. It's going to have a left margin. Uh, it's going to be centered sort of top to bottom here. It's clearly not not left to right. Uh, so so you know just just like like we have here, linear layout with with a couple of text views and a view in between. Uh, if you want more practice creating that guy, I would say you know take the spec, go go for it now. 
uh, if you're in a little bit of a rush uh, and you want to you want to cut right to the chase um, we do have it on the next slide right here um, if you'd like to grab this guy uh, so this is this is everything that we need uh, if you're going to copy it I'd ask that that um, that you take the text and that you make string resources for for these guys uh, and you know good kind of go go with that All right. I'll give you a minute to do that Okay, so I, I, I got that guy in, and I'm dragging my background paper into my drawable medium DPI, and I'll copy the files in, get that guy, and then let's clean up the warnings here. So this right here, my text, uh, I will go ahead and Alt-Shift-A and S. And what is this going to be? This is going to be my row view start number. So just something so I have in for really for for the preview, uh, and then this guy right here is going to be my row view start month. Very good. Save those guys, and and let's continue on. Okay, so where do we go from here? What do you what do you do with it with um, with XML files? Right, you inflate them. Right, so let's let's uh let's go and where would we want to inflate it? Uh, let's see, certainly not a main activity or even in the adapter, it's the view itself. So let's go up to this guy. And actually, uh, so in inflating these guys, so we need to get the, um, we need to be able to inflate it from somewhere. Uh, so we need to get a layout inflator, right? Uh, and this guy does not have a layout inflator. Uh, so my guess is that it's going to come from the context here. So if we said context, get layout inflator uh, that should have one now, it turns out that every activity has one we actually know that our context is an activity so let's go ahead and do a typecast here so so we'll cast our context back to an activity parenthesize it and then dot uh, if I import activity then it should let me complete so get uh, get layout inflator excellent All right. uh, so we take that inflator and we're gonna call inflate with it Right, uh, and inflate, uh, let's see, which one do we want? So we're gonna have a resource and we're gonna have a, a, a root here. I think that's okay. Um, so we'll, we have a resource that was stored in r.layout.rowView. And then the root here um, can be uh, this, this guy itself, so attached to, to, to this layout. This guy is gonna return a view Right, um, which we could save if we, if we wanted to. Uh, we're not going to have to do anything with it now, so so I'm not going to do that. Uh, now, how's that going to change everything else? Right. So creating views now we really don't need to create them. I mean, the, those left and, and right text views were were created when we inflated the layout. Uh, so we should be able to to take this guy right here and um, and just find them. Right. So so left text view. Let's go ahead and do this uh, here. Uh, cast to a text view and instead called find view by ID r dot ID dot and we have a left text view that was in that XML and same thing for the right here so cast this guy find view by ID r dot ID dot right text view yeah. uh, modify the properties uh, we don't need to so let's, see, let's let's clear up this guy. Uh, so nothing to modify because we set it all in XML. Uh, so we didn't end up needing to do that. Uh, adding to the layout um, already done, right? So they're already part of that layout. So we can we can go ahead and and, and just just kind of clean that up a, a little bit there. So let's see what we got. All right, emulator comes back and voila, uh, that's looking pretty nice. Uh, adding views still works. Um, it was just just the appearance that we've changed, so so we expect that everything that was working is going to continue to work uh, just fine, right? So great stuff. Uh, we are done with our work with with customizing row views. Uh, hope you learned a lot from this lesson, and we'll see you back for the next one. All right, take care.